Yo, so guys, welcome back to another video. This is a reaction to top 10 times Dr. Phil lost it on his guests. And I know this is Watch Mojo or Mrs. Mojo or whatever this BS is. I don't really know why there's different channels because it's the same content. And not everyone's a fan of it, and that's fair enough. But Dr. Phil, man, you can't not react to it. And plus, like, if I was reacting to, like, a clip of just Dr. Phil or just certain videos on YouTube, I know they'll get blocked, so... It's the best way to get around it. Maybe in future I can do specific reactions to these kinds of videos more in depth on my Patreon because that's where I can post those types of videos. But yeah, that's just for those interested. Let me know in the comments if you would want that. But if not, we just could do this reaction. And if you don't enjoy it, obviously you don't have to watch the reaction. But yeah, let's just jump into it. Let's just check this video out. Phil McGraw tries to be calm and an understanding man, but even he has his limits. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down. To be fair, the only actual clip I know from Dr. Phil is the Catch Me Outside one. I've seen little clips here and there, but I don't know, I probably won't remember them. And yeah, I've never watched like, clips from this, to be honest. So this is actually all going to be new to me, unless it shows Catch Me Outside, how about that? But that's about it. And our picks for the top God, 10 so times cringe. Dr. Phil lost it on his guests. Are you kidding me? Before we begin, we Where's publish from, new content every day, so be sure to subscribe Texas, to our channel in, and ring the Texas. bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, South. we'll be looking at times when Dr. Phil became impatient, frustrated, or downright mad at his talk show guests for their behavior. This can include kicking them off the show, insulting them, or getting into heated arguments. Hey, hey, hey. What's going on? Now, you need to look at me. <laughs> Number 10, <laughs> did you go to fifth grade? Everyone oh, remembers Danielle group. Bergoli, a.k.a. Cash Me Outside Girl. I'm talking to be sliding, f*** you mean? Oh, That's what makes me want to take the next bitch car. What now? I'm sorry, I didn't get that. Are you speaking English? <laughs> she went viral thanks to her rebellious She's making behavior, money now too, phrases, to be fair, and but... fake street accent. Wait, what no, is what? it? When she turned 18, she made a... God, this is mental. Um, bad baby... Is it like she made like one million as soon as she turned eighteen on bro? This is this is when you like scared, yeah, bro. People are weird, man. Like grown men, grown I guess grown females as well. Waiting until she turned eighteen to buy it, like that's weird. You know they were just waiting. Oh, that's she's definitely got a lot of. I mean, fair play to her making money, and I mean, oh man, it just blows my mind how she make that much after twenty four hours. When she turned eighteen, I think it was literally the day she turned eighteen, right? Something like that, mate. It's crazy. God, people, man. <laughs> people are weird. Wasn't having any of it. After Danielle gives a smart alecky, poor grammar filled remark about stealing a car, Phil stares in disbelief before <coughs> asking her if she went to the fifth grade. Did you. Did you go to the fifth grade? <laughs> this results in shocked gasps from the audience, who proceed to clap while Danielle marinates in the burn. It's not easy to get the otherwise calm and collected Dr. Phil to insult you in front of hundreds of people, but Danielle managed to find a way. Catch me outside. How about that? Number nine. Oh, you sir, she have said a it. black heart. Not even this seen is the a full bit of a dark clip. episode. Pamela claims that her ex-husband Pete ran out on their family to be with a massage therapist he met at a couple's retreat. Oh, she also no. blames him for their 15-year-old son's suicide. Because I think you have said some things here Holy today. Fuck that are absolutely reckless. Pete in turn says that Pamela wanted their son dead. It all culminates in a fiery and destructive three minute speech from Phil. The host yeah. absolutely tears into Pete by calling him reckless and destructive before telling so. him that he has a black heart. I pray to God that you don't mean them because if you do, you, sir, have a black heart. Of course, everything is said in that calm Dr. Phil cadence, but you can tell that he is just seething inside. He's not often one to judge people, but he is doing a whole lot of judging here. Putting out other people's candles does not make yours burn brighter. Number eight, get a job. This kid is so spoiled rotten that Phil resorts to raising his voice. Now that's an accomplishment. Now you say you watch me and you take notes. Well, take this note. Okay. In this episode, an aspiring singer, self-named King Keith Franklin the Seventh, believes that becoming famous <laughs> is more important mean? than a job or an education. Oh, As such, the 20-year-old lounges around his mother's house, hoping to achieve that goal. Unfortunately, his mother isn't having any of it, and neither is Dr. Phil. The host tears into him by ordering him to pull his own weight and contribute around the house before straight up telling him to get a job. 
Reality checks can be hard to listen to, especially when they come from a nearly yelling and clearly irate Dr. Phil. You mm. don't sit around watching Paris Hilton or Kim Kardashian or Dr. Phil on television and tell yourself that's a life education. Get a job. Number seven, <sighs> you don't put words in my mouth. I do uh, wish I could see the full clip. I know for copyright, that's why they're talking over it a lot, which is why people don't like it, which is fair enough. But like I said, if I, if I do end up doing full reactions, which I actually might do right after this, do a full reaction to one of these, it will have to go to my Patreon. I wish I could post it on YouTube, but you know how it is, too strict. Plus, with the situation on my YouTube now, I'm trying to be a bit more careful of what I watch. I have no reason whatsoever to believe that she's having sex with anyone. Don't I, sound there's... like it. In this episode, Phil sits down with couple Paul in Alaska. Alaska has a cuddling business and uses provocative photos to market herself. This has led Paul to worry about her sexual behavior and personal safety. Yeah, fair enough. While defending herself, Alaska states that Phil has been insinuating various insulting ideas throughout the interview. In her mind, she thinks Phil believes that she sleeps with the men she meets. Of course, this sets Phil right oh, off. God You're damn. supposed to be helping, not making me angry. No, well, look at me. Look at me. You don't put words in my mouth, and I'm telling you, I, if I if I've I think... I've never said you called me that. I said you're doing innuendos okay. and making it seem well, like it. He tells Alaska that she shouldn't put words in his mouth before looking her dead in the eyes and stating that he isn't afraid of her. That one woman's oh damn expression pretty much sums it up. Number six, you are committing a crime. Phil has a short leash when it comes to the mistreatment of children. That is on full display in this, this dramatic before. episode that culminates in Phil is accusing she? Kaylee of a crime. When a, a child is a certain age, they don't have the capacity mm -hmm. to give consent. Kaylee is a dominatrix who gives her 14-year-old daughter alcohol and marijuana and oh allows her God. teen to have sex. Phil begins 14-year-old daughter alcohol and marijuana and allows her teen to have sex. But Phil begins Kaylee's what the fuck? Roast rather politely. It's like she promotes it to her. Saying that teenagers cannot give consent under the law and that adults need to monitor their behavior. You can, you can roll your eyes and you can be sarcastic all you want. You are committing a crime. Right. Amen. However, that was just a prelude to the main event. While Phil tells Kaylee about 20 times that she is committing a crime by giving her daughter drugs and permitting her to be physically intimate with other people. Phil is less mad and more dumbfounded over the whole situation, and that makes his reaction all the more entertaining. Do, do you not understand that that by, I, by yeah, statute okay. is a crime? Okay. Number five. She's a recipe for disaster, have man. An intelligent by the time she's 20, she's probably going to be destroyed. Conversation. Many of the previous entries showed a frustrated Dr. Phil. Here, he is positively irate, and it is oh so satisfying. Let me please so, okay, have an intelligent conversation without you two bickering back and forth. God damn. I don't want to hear. First, he shows frustration with an interjection saying, let me please have an intelligent conversation. And when the guest ignores Phil and begins bickering, he simply sits back and folds his arms like an ignored and irritated parent. Go ahead, y'all don't need me for this. You can do this the in the parking lot. But before the woman can finish, Phil interrupts and goes off about his guest's children, which culminates in him telling her to shut up. Here we see all the telltale signs of seething anger, insults, folded arms, interruptions, yelling, sarcastic rhetorical questions, and exasperated hand gestures. My dad used to tell me never pass up a good chance to shut up. The man is absolutely fuming and it is terrifying. Boom. Head's Roasted. Gone. Number four, kicking <laughs> off Bum Fight's producer. For those who are unaware, okay. Bum Fights was a film that saw homeless people performing amateur stunts for small amounts of money or alcohol. Bro, the video what? was enormously was controversial and has even been banned <laughs> in various allowed. countries. A man who bought the film rights, known as the alias Ty Beeson, appeared on Dr. Phil hilariously dressed as Dr. Phil. However, his appearance what? lasted for less than a minute before he was kicked off. Stop the tape. I don't want to talk to you. Is that him? That's despicable. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you. Oh, Bill man. stated that he didn't want to talk to Ty and promptly had him escorted off the stage by security. <laughs> I this is worse than funny, yelling. Man. This is like when your parents say they're disappointed and refuse to speak to you. In a way, we don't think we've ever seen Phil so angry. If you think, if you, if you think I exploit people, every time you bring a guest on this show, you exploit them and spread whatever problems they have to the whole world. You think that's helping them? Yeah, keep telling yourself that. You can go. Number three, sexy vegan. I, mean, I am the beautiful vegan messiah. Sexy vegan has earned his fuck? place in the Dr. Phil Hall of Fame thanks to his eccentric physical appearance and reckless antics. Of course he's a vegan, and in man. this particular episode, <laughs> his antics are on full display. 
I need to see this whole one. Already, I thought this guy is batshit crazy, but I want to see this full video, man. Sings a little theme song, brags about his sexiness, and moonwalks down the aisle before calling his mother an ugly piece of effing shit. Suffice it to say, that was the last straw for Phil. Hey, look at me. Let's look see at your me. talent. No, huh? hey, hey, hey. No, you need to look at me. What the fuck? I don't have to do Okay, take okay. him out. He forcefully tells Sexy Vegan to stop. So is that it? So I can't, there's nothing to see then, I've pretty much seen all of it. And actually gives him a chance to listen before kicking him out and apologizing to his audience. That is childish awesome. and immature behavior. And How old uh, is this now? now I get to leave. Yes, you do. Bill has some How mad patience. So to see him kicking someone out over their toxic behavior truly says a lot about his and sexy vegan. God, imagine having a child, they grow up and you've done it all just for them to turn out like this. Oh, you have, like, the, the, this just, I don't even know how you'd feel, man. Like, you just must feel, like, just done, man. Like, just imagine birthing a kid and then you, that you're their, you're their mother. You you grow them up for, I don't know how old they are now. He looks about 35, 40, to be honest. Maybe not. And they end up like this. They're still acting like a 10-year-old at the age of 40. Like, what has gone wrong? Twist relationship. Don't let the door hit you in the ass. Number two. Are you kidding me? You should be punched in the face for how you acted. In this episode, Phil shows a troubling clip of three adults bickering at a little league baseball practice. The adults can be heard calling each other crazy and insulting each other's hair colors and outfits. One even says that the other should be punched in the face. Phil in turn brings up the out of frame children and literally shakes with anger when screaming, Are you kidding me? After some much deserved roasting, it all ends with a very exasperated Phil leaning back in his chair and saying, Come on. If it wasn't clear already, Phil really hates it when children are involved in adult immaturity and stupidity. Before we unveil, wonder how much they get paid to get onto the show. Seeing a black person is like going to the zoo. You only want to go there a few times, but if you go there all the time, you, you know, know everything you that can, goes on. That's like a tired record. You. What the hell have I just got myself into here? You only have about six things you say. Free will. No. So I'm sorry. You yeah, need, I may have came here free no, will, no, but stop. I didn't come here no, so that you all could no, put my personal information on the internet. This was for him. You not need for you. to stop. I don't know what else to do. I just want help now. <laughs> Okay, you? hold on, stop. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. You are being inappropriate, and I am not gonna have you here mocking. It, it looks like he's gonna cry. What the fuck? This situation. So I'm gonna have to ask you to join, <laughs> sit in the chair right down there where he came from. Number one, kicking out an internet stalker. Holy this shit. is a legendary episode of Doctor Phil, Stalkers, and it comes man. with one of the best the Phil worst. reactions of all time. It's the love story of the century, but you've never physically met. No, sir. The guest is Bailey, a young adult who liked a stranger's tweet and promptly fell in love. Bailey sent the woman thousands of messages declaring her love, even though they had never even met. Wait, you, you liked one of their tweets and now you f What is wrong with this world, man? Oh, I actually hate it here. It's all out but me. It's well, fun. you know what? I think we're just going to shut this down because I'm not into all this melodrama and you playing the victim and everything. After Bailey plays a victim, Phil quickly shuts the it's her. interview down, saying that he's not interested in the melodrama and manipulation. Wait, it's her to it. Wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm, I've not listened. Thousands of messages to strangers tweet and promptly fell in love. Bailey sent the woman thousands of messages declaring her love, even though they had never. I'm so confused. It keeps saying, it's like talking as if she's not the one, but then he's talking. He's getting angry at her as if she's, she's like, the one doing it. I'm so. Confused. And all this melodrama and you playing the victim and everything. After Bailey plays a victim, Phil quickly shuts the entire interview down, <laughs> saying that he's not interested in the melodrama and manipulation. Now think about that. Phil was so incensed at Bailey's behavior that he refused to listen or help, despite claims of wanting to do so, and just kicked her off instead. Sure, he never raised his voice, but actions speak a heck of a lot louder than words. You're very manipulative, and I, I just, I'm not interested in all of that. So uh, I'm gonna let Bailey uh, move on. Damn, I need to see that full clip. That, that seems a bit like, Phil loses it, he just calmly insults them. I want to see that full Vic, that full clip, man. I'm so confused. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want the full reactions to some of these clips, let me know. That vegan one, mate, I, that vegan man, I need to check that one out fully because that was, 
<laughs> it's ridiculous. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this one. Um, and yeah, until next time, like, subscribe. Peace.